What is up everyone? In today's video I'm going to break down one of the most important topics and this is what you should get from the shop, what priorities you should have and of course I'm gonna share some tips and tricks for new players. Let's tackle with the hot items. Nothing much of importance to mention here, it's more of quality of life purchases. Moving on with the silver, you can get healing potions, it's important. Mithril bait as well for your fishing. Don't forget to do 20 fish at uh, 20 fishing attempts each week require for the manual of destiny as well you can push your exploration through that and as mentioned exploration flamethrower magical stairs and thumbelina are also required for exploration to get chests items that you can't reach through ground etc now you can also get arcane realm stones with gold this is expensive for free to play uh, Maybe not, but it's mostly a quality of life currency. Instead of running again a reward chance in your arcane realm floor, whenever you finish it, you can use th those and make another run without even making the run. Just get all the rewards till the end. And this is how you can save two reward chances per week, because this is resets weekly, if you haven't noticed. So you can get two of those each week. From the 14 in total stack, uh, reward chances that you can get, you can skip two of those. So it's a nice addition for quality of life. Moving on with the Manual of Destiny shop, which is the most important shop, the most important section in the shop. Here you can get everything required for personal progression and of course some other juicy things that will help your quality of life in the game. Now, the most important thing that you should prioritize on this shop is of course the ancient medals. We can get 100 gear from those and I'm gonna uh, speak in depth later on the video about, uh, about the gear. But this is the most important item because it's pure character progression and will help you clear but, uh, more difficult dungeons, do challenges, etc. Second uh, most important thing over here is the battle cry emblems. You can get 40 each week. This is also very important for your character progression. So this is why also Manual of Destiny Shop is being considered as the most important section on the shop because you can get your character progression. Now, something worth mentioning uh, is that even if you miss to get everything that you had to get by the end of the week, it doesn't matter because you can get up to two refresh cycles and those can be stacked in your inventory. So important information is that if I again forget to get uh, those emblems by the end of the next week I'm gonna lose those extra 40 uh, battle cry emblems so have that in mind as well the game let you uh, forget let's say to get whatever you had to get for a week but uh, you don't have a free pass for a third week so make sure to get uh, the emblems and the ancient medals now third of importance is the intermediate, intermediate tool chests. With those chests you can get rare materials, either for pro first personal progression, either to make a lot of gold. And technically, those three things are the most important uh, purchases here. Now a fourth one could be the Vigor. You can get up to 100 per week. Uh, it's not so much, but it's something to also, if you have a lot of intermediate tools, for example, you can take benefit out of that also you can gather materials and sell them for gold so i would consider that also important and later on uh, depend of the per uh, the character preference either you will go for silver even even if you if sorry if you haven't completed yet all your runes all your environments in each slot this is also something to consider about i just took th th uh, those two uh, since i was missing my last two slots for green so i completed with uh, those two purchases and it's actually cheaper to get from the shop so consider that as well as a choice to get and of course uh, silver coins as the last choice you will need a lot of silver to get their items from the reputation shop I'm gonna view it soon and finally if you haven't got the rare metals as you see i got zero of those since we, we progressed so, so fast in level 100 gear so I felt it was unnecessary, I kept my destiny medals to get uh, better items when 
those items appeared in the manual of destiny shop as in the future the next uh, set of medals are gonna, gonna appear here as well now moving on with for, to the dungeon shop as you see he is the lowest rarity uh, tier I have like 168 medals of those. I almost got nothing except maybe one weapon or something like when we unlocked um, the first uh, raid dungeon. But this is nothing uh, to discuss about this gear since you're gonna be on level 40 and uh, 100 gear score very fast in the game. Uh, for, for us it was one week. For players that are starting the game after the day lock everyone will be about maybe in two days in this gear score so this is most important to discuss about this shop now with those medals you can obtain gear as you can see i can view also the gear score for the gear i can view also what uh, random attributes i might get uh, but the most important thing to mention is that this gear from the shop despite the gear that you get from Arcane Realm has a guaranteed special aptitude instead of a chance to get from, obtained from the Arcane Realms. So this gear is actually more important from Arcane Realm floors since you get a guaranteed special aptitude. Worth to mention also that you can also view the list of special aptitudes in, in case you want to check what you can get. And I believe this is everything uh, I had to mention about gear here. Uh, later on, we're gonna get advanced medals. So this is very likely we're, we're, they're gonna add those medals to the Manual of Destiny shop when it's time, when we unlock that. And of course, we're gonna push items from there. Worth to mention as well that, again, those items will have a special aptitude, but they're not bringing along a set. Have that in mind as well. Of course, you are pushing those mats from the shop after you get all the aptitudes and stuff to make the perfect match for the enhanced attribute. So if I have, for example, combo Omni in, in, in that specific gear, I would prefer to have 157 combo, 105 uh, Omni, for example. My stats but reverse. So I'm going to buy those necklaces uh, to get that stat. And this is how you slowly will progress in the game by doing that. Now, about the reputation shop. Priorities will, will, should always be the dusts. Second priority should be the emblems. And if you have silver, skip the medals. Of course, you won't need them, especially the first ones. And if you have silver like I have, for example, now, you can get a stone of prayers to, for some gacha. But I'm saving my silver. First, to get everything that is required for my personal progress, progression, and then maybe you should focus with cosmetics and uh, emotes and all those things. Again, uh, Silver Return Misty Forest, as you see, I have purchased everything uh, regarding dust and, and emblems. Those are the most important things. And later on, uh, you can get the prayers and the medals. And last but not least, we have the guild shop and the friendship shop. Uh, here you don't get anything uh, extraordinary, rather than mounts, some skill for mounts, uh, some cosmetics for your head. Maybe you get those first since it's uh, limited once per time, get the mount, get the skill for the mount and then the head cosmetic. Uh, worth to mention also that how can you check, let me show you, if you go to team, uh, if you are inside the team, you will see indicated at the top right those medals. If you press them, you can also view how much of those you can obtain per, per weekly based. As you see, uh, weekly for friends and badges are it's 50 and for guild it's 300. So make sure to complete content with your friends or your guild to obtain as much of those coins per week. Moving on to military rank shop. Again, from here you can obtain some cosmetics, some mount. I would suggest to keep don't get potions as you will need those glory awards to progress your military rank and, your, and the skills. So don't get anything from here. Keep those medals, they are very important. And later on when you move on, when you upgrade your rankings, the mount will be unlocked, the skill for the mount. Consider getting those, but first, priority would be of course to complete 
to progress the, your military rank. Uh, this, this thing right here, progress this as much as you can. And don't forget that when you reach a certain threshold, you will be able to upgrade your skills that provides you with extra effects, extra time for the, your effects and extra PvP, attack and HP. So make sure to keep uh, uh, those uh, glory awards, spend zero to cosmetics or potions and just wait to finish first with your military rank and all those upgrades for your PvP and later on you can get the cosmetics. And time shop it's the last uh, thing on our list. As you see, I have 300. Uh, since we had the maintenance, every time a maintenance occurs, they're gonna provide us with those medals. And from here we can get all those juicy things. Mostly there are cosmetic things, but beside the cosmetics, we have some battle cry emblems. I would suggest every time to get those. Let me get them as I remembered uh, now for the soy case as well. Uh, I don't know if this shop will ever be reset since uh, some things are very expensive, but make sure to always get the battle cry emblems as they provide pure power and you want uh, to min max your stats and everything in this game revolving around uh, runes and inscription. Sorry, runes and, uh, and artifacts. So make sure to get always the, the battle cry emblems. And with that being said, uh, I think that was everything regarding uh, the shop. Thanks for watching and until next time, see ya!